DC BC provides a space for young people that are progressive and want to really be empowered and active in a process for social change and social justice. And spaces like these are needed and they need to be cultivated and invested in by communities. The people are great, the workshops are awesome. It's an experience that you, everyone should have. I feel like in order to help us move forward, it would be awesome if we could like, share our experiences. It was such an amazing experience, seriously. Like I met all these really down, desi people, and it was just so beautiful. And everyone was just connecting at a different level. It's great. We created radical safe space. I quickly melted right into the group. It was a very open environment. I felt like everybody I met here, even over the past few days, is family. It was like my second home. I always was very confused of who I was and about my identity because, I, um, because I'm biracial. Uh, but coming to programs like this helps you identify and helps you understand who you really are. Advertising is telling you that you need to be fair skinned. Um, your community might be telling you that. Like the people in your family might be telling you that. And what happens as a result? Like we often we feel that, right? And that's the internalized mm -hmm. part of it. So, for some reason, the American capitalist system has shut down our emotions so much that we don't give a fuck. Like there's some reason why we know that these bombs are going off daily and we see it in the news. For some reason, we're not triggered, like we're not emotional anymore. How do we get back to those emotions? How do we get back to that humanity? Like how do we realize that even though that we were colonized people, it's in our blood to fight and organize and resist? Right, like there are reasons that we don't know this. It's not told to us. You don't ever sit in a history class, like in middle school, and learn about queer people in India, right? Queer people in Sri Lanka, queer people in any of the places in South Asia. You barely learn about queer people in the US. Put your hand down if you grew up hearing negative things about people of African descent or black folks. Getting to know these organizers that are women and radical women of color that I don't get to see in New York City that often that are busy really just inspired me to continue doing the work that I'm doing today and like move on forward and keep networking because you don't get to build networks through a, na a national perspective. And we really need this within our community and empower our youth. And I hope to see everyone next year. <laughs>